Well, fall is all about planting bulbs, but what about planting bulbs in containers? I'm at Portland Nursery on Stark with Laura, and Laura, you have some great ideas for us, and so we're gonna really build something from the ground up, so let's talk about containers. Um, when you're choosing a container for bulbs, it's important to get something with holes in the bottom because drainage is key because they don't want to be in soupy soil because uh, they could rot. Right, right. Um, and so another good trick is to raise your container um, so it can the water can flow out. And we have um, pot feet that you can use to do ah, that. That's with. a great idea. And so now we want to use potting soil, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. All right, well, so I'll start doing that. Our we're going to be layering the bulbs as we put them in the container. And what that does, they can be planted at different depths because the bulbs ah, are different sizes. Okay. And they're going to bloom at different times of the year. So you're also layering your bloom time as well. The first one going in is going to be our tulips. How's and that? they can go about 10 to 12 inches deep. So, what a cool tool! What is that? This is a hori hori knife. Uh huh. Um, the stainless steel ones have the measurements on the blade, which is really handy. Nice. And it's telling me we need more soil. Okay, I can do that. Okay. And so you carry those kind of knives here. Portland we do Nursery? carry them here. Yep. This is the stainless steel. And for those of you who tend to use your tool, lose your tools in the garden, <laughs> um, we there. have the orange handled um, hori hori knife. And this one's um, the carb carbon blade. It does not have the measurements but it's still incredibly useful. Okay. So this is looking good. All right, so measuring, yeah. okay. Yep, yep, we're about 12 inches. Okay. So the next thing, we'll put in some uh, bulb food, so the bulbs will have something to munch okay. on. So just a little Okay, we'll kind of mix there. that in, mix that's that in. farm. All yep. right. And so you picked out tulips, and mm -hmm. so you got yellow, and so you're all about um, kind of coordinating color, too. Yes, definitely. I love yellow and blue together. So I have the yellow tulips, and they're a mid-bloomer, and the hyacinths are a nice blue. As the hyacinths are finishing up, the tulips will come into bloom, so you can get that color combo going oh, very on. Cool. So that'll be really nice. And so is there a trick about, I know, pointy side up? Actually, <laughs> the, um, slightly at an angle. Okay. So the pointy side can be up, but you want it at a little bit of an angle okay. here. And so we'll put it in like that so it's not totally straight up. And what this does is it causes the greens to come out sideways and go up so they don't flop so much. Oh, okay, that's a great idea. And right. usually bulbs make such a great statement when they're in mass. Okay. So I would say we should do at around seven of okay. these. And we're gonna make sure they don't touch. Yep. All right, and on that angle. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's in. So more soil. Yep. Next layer is for our hyacinths. Okay. And you got those got and you kind of alternate. Yep. Three of them right in the middle. All right. We left a little space. A little space. Okay. And we have to kind of um, say that about hyacinths. Um, hyacinths, you can have a reaction to the bulbs themselves. So if you're very sensitive, wear some gloves. Do not touch your eyes after you're barehanded um, the hyacinths. Make sure you wash your hands first. All right, and then now what's the last one? The last one are crocuses, and I'm going to put them in little clumps, up three clumps around, and I'm going to alternate these clumps of, I'm going to put five in with um, the pansies that I have. All right. And I chose plentiful pansies. They're a new variety this year, and they are going to uh, spill over the side of the pot. Okay, so we got pansies. So pansies right in between All those right. clumps of crocus. And then for fun in the middle, <laughs> I like that. we're going to add some lettuce. And so you can keep eating this through the fall until the hard frosts come. And this is going to die out, which is perfect because <laughs> the bulbs great. will come up where the dead lettuce um, has gone. Okay, we're just going to pretend there, but we want to talk about what if we have a container that we've had all summer? Right. Can we add bulbs for that? Yes, definitely. Um, we have this one that we planted early in the season, and some of the, the sweet potato vine and the ticonder are going to die out. So what I'm going to do is tuck some muscari in here, and I have okay. my hori hori knife, and just make a little hole where my annuals are, and then you can tuck in some muscari down in the bottom there. And you know, those are going to be white, and that's going to pick up the other colors in this container, exactly. and it's going to be color, color coordinated. Yep. I like um, sticking narcissus in pots, too, are really fun as well. Well, Laura, I think you've given us so many good ideas about planting bulbs in all kinds of containers. You have to come down to Portland Nursery on Stark and Division to see their wonderful bulb selection and ask the staff, and they'll be giving you lots of good tips. Well, thank you so much for all the help. Thank you, Judy.